Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I know you might be in the comments saying this is not another L3 haul because you were on a low buy. But like Casey said in her video, this is a judgment free zone. So, <laughs> I did not go crazy trying to be good. And I think the part that really gets me is her restocks are on Fridays. And then we like go to happy hour and we have a drink and then I'm like, oh, I should like check the website again, see if there's anything left. Not a good idea. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't, I don't think I went like too crazy, but I definitely didn't need to go back in by any means. But let's just get into it. So she sent the sticker. It says nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm a possible Audrey Hepburn. Um, she sent a cherry Laffy Taffy, but I already ate it today at work. I opened this box because it came to work because I was nervous um, that it would come while we were on vacation. And so I just sent it there. Um, but I ate it. I just opened the box and ate it. I couldn't wait any longer. It looked too good. Um, okay, I'm going to go through my samples first. The first one is Vanilla Butter Fudge, which is funny because one of the blends I got has this in it. And I was like, ooh, I like it. It smells really, in the bag it smells heavy on the butter kind of, which is funny. I don't know if that's just like in my head, but just, it smells like, like a vanilla, like bakery scent. Like it doesn't smell like butter out here, but the bag, I kind of get that butter hint. And I don't know if it's because it's so yellow or the fact that it has butter in the name, but it doesn't smell like butter. It smells like a bakery. So it's funny. Um, the next one is Palo Santo Don't Cross Dreams. And I really love Palo Blends in Fender Wax. I don't know why. And I love Don't Cross Dreams also. This smells really good. <laughs> I really, really like that. I could see even doing that in the bedroom. Um, which some people like don't do bakery in the bedroom, but I don't care. But I think Palo in the bedroom is like so good. Um, this one was unsuspecting. It's raspberry sugar, which I was kind of expecting to be like blue sugar, pink sugar, like those, like that I don't really like. But I actually really like this. Like I don't get much right from this, like smelling it directly, but from the bag, it's like, uh, I don't know. It's like really sweet, fruity kind of. And not strawberry. Like it's roughly raspberry. Oh, it's so good in the bag. So I'm really, really excited to warm that. Um, like I said, very unsuspecting. I was not, I was like, oh, another sugar scent. Like everyone does all these sugars, but that one's actually kind of good. Um, okay, let's get into the puppy packs. Um, and I know some people have had some I don't want to say complaints, but maybe more like comments about this, about the differences of the puppy pack. So like this one you can tell has like eight to 10 shapes that are tiny. And this one has four shapes, but they're obviously like bigger and like fatter. But I know people were like, oh, the whole point of a puppy pack is to like not have to cut it. Like these you could just put in your warmer. Whereas like this, you definitely have to chop these into littler pieces or you'd only have four melt and that kind of defeats the purpose. So I I feel like seeing these next to each other, I get what people are saying, but the one puppy pack I like took out and chopped or took out to melt, I like chopped some of the pieces, but this one I don't feel like I necessarily have to. Those aren't that big, but some of them had pieces like this in it, not all this big, like the tinier ones too, but I took them all out and chopped the big ones because I was like, I don't want to like have to go back in later and chop, so I just did it right away. Okay. Um, let's start off. I'm pretty sure this is a blend that Angela at For the Love of Sense and Wax Melts BFF on Instagram and her things For the Love of Sense, her like tag, her name on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> also, I could be totally wrong that this is her blend, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's cinnamon sugar cookie. Oh, oh my gosh. Cinnamon sugar coffee house cupcakes at Tiffany. I'm pretty sure someone said this is her blend. And I was like, oh my God, I have to try it. <laughs> and it's really, really good. I definitely get like the cinnamon sugar and the cupcakes at Tiffany's. Like they are actually kind of towards the forefront, which is funny. 
because well coffee house isn't necessarily like coffee bean it's kind of like the a whole aroma i guess i don't know this is really good i don't like straight on coffee i like it to be blended and this kind of reminds me i don't know if it's the cinnamon sugar but it kind of reminds me of like a fall blend i like it i really like fall scents the next one people rave about this is one I got when I went back in. So, um, it's What Dreams May Come, which is Liana, Liana's Lullaby, which is the Johnson & Johnson type. Lavender and Spring Breeze. And this one has like a ton of, like I said, these shapes are like perfect. And there's like 10 of them maybe? Maybe at least. know what Johnson is. I got Liliana's lullaby by itself. I know I did in the last pre-order. This one's a little bit more complex because it has the other notes. But I feel like I mostly get lavender. Like this would be perfect for the bedroom. I guess it kind of reminds me of like a baby related type scent. Maybe. <laughs> I just don't feel like I was around like I never like babysat for young kids or anything so I feel like I just don't know I don't know it's so weird like some people just rave about those types of scents and I'm like I don't feel like it triggers any type of memory for me so this one I picked up is the bunts which are chunky um they're not their chunky bunts but I'm just saying like they're fat <laughs> uh sugar lavender twist vanilla wafers like these are big freaking bunts and these are like the buns she did in the pre-order, but then they had chunks in them. They were like ah, legit chunky buns. This one smells really good. I don't know that it smells like the sugared lavender twist. Like Walmart has that wax sugared lavender twist. But it's kind of just like a sweet lavender with a bakery. Like the Walmart one is definitely like more sugary sweet, like sickeningly sweet but I like it. Oh, this one's really, really good though. I think this is one I did on my second order as well, um, but I'm kind of like happy I did because I really wanted it the first time, but I was nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to get everything. So I was like, okay, I'm just grabbing a few things. Um, but then when it was still there, when I went back, I was like, okay, it's time. Um, and then I got some, I was gonna call these Buntinis. <laughs> it's, at, it's the end of the day, you guys. Um, Bitty Betty's. <laughs> um, I got some Bitty Betty's, which I don't feel as bad getting Bitty Betty's because they're just so tiny, you know? Um, this one is Coffee Bean Danish Butter Cookies and Waffle Cone. They're just so baby. I don't really feel as bad, you know? Because you can easily go through this, like, oh, I'm spilling. This one, I feel like I'm literally getting the Coffee Bean. Like, I don't think the other scents have quite developed yet. Maybe a hint of the Danish butter cookies, but like, not if I didn't know it was in it. Mostly the coffee bean. But I feel like those other scents will easily come out. Um, I find that L3's Bakery like really shines in the warming. Like it's never gonna be super prominent in the bag. You gotta warm it, but you definitely have to let it cure, so. Um, okay, and then we got, we, me and all my peeps, um, I got Pineapple Coconut Leaves Fizzy Pop, and <laughs> I got a little bit wild here, and I don't know that I'll take this one out just because it's crazy, and I kind of, once again, this is one that I got later on in the evening, so was I in my best state of mind? Probably not, however... I know I like coconut and pineapple and I thought, hey, let's give it a try. It's definitely forward on the fizzy pop and I don't know what coconut leaves smell like, but people rave about it. But I feel like I get a hint of that coconut, which is what I've been searching for for so long. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I don't know that I really get much of the pineapple, but it could be like melding with the fizzy pop a little bit like that. Um, almost um, acidic kind of part of the pineapple. Maybe in the background, but I feel like mostly I'm getting the 
um, fizzy pop, for sure the fizzy pop, like right up front, and then a hint of that coconut. So I'm really excited. I mean, that's pretty different scent for me, so I'm excited about that. Okay, I have to adjust because, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one, um, I was looking at my notes because I've been trying to like write down things after I order them so I don't go back, especially like pre-orders, etc. I don't go back and be like, oh, I never, like, I don't remember what I got or I didn't get that or go through all my emails. Like I try to write them down and then I write down next to them what they are, like a loaf or whatever. And then, so I had this one written down and I had loaf, like an L written next to it. And I was like, oh my God, I got that in a whole entire loaf and I've never even smelled it, but I got it in a bitty bitty. So I, I realized once I got it, I wasn't as nervous. Um, this is eight crazy nights which everyone was raving about. It's blackberry jelly, fried dough, and a hint of campfire smoke. Also, this, when I received the box, this bag was open, which leads me to believe the bag was open for a majority of the travel because just with like banging around and stuff, the fact that it was open when it got to me, it was probably open for a good chunk of time. But this is interesting. It kind of smells familiar in a way but yet not. Also the blackberry is giving me kind of like hair care vibes, which is so strange, I know. But I feel like I'm mostly getting the blackberry jelly. I don't really feel that I'm getting the other notes. Um, but like Casey, did she get a loaf of this in her haul? I just watched her haul. Um, and she was absolutely raving about it. And so it was like, well, I'm glad I tried it because I know people were absolutely living for it. So I wanted to give it a shot. Um, okay. So originally I went in, I think I got on the site too early because I seen later that she posted about how there was a, like a glitch with the site and people were able to like buy things but they weren't supposed to or something. And I think I was one of those people but I didn't realize it because I just saw the site was stocked and so I was shopping. So I felt kind of bad afterwards but I had already checked out. So I didn't think there was anything I could really do about it. But while I was shopping and that go around, um, I picked up a strawberry pound cake cookie therapy. Two of my fave scents. So I wanted to get this big guy. This is just so good. I cannot wait to chop this up. Like it definitely needs to cure, but oh, it smells so good. Yeah, so her cookie therapy is like um, cookies, pretzels. Like it's kind of like a carbs blend, I think. Like I'm pre it definitely has pretzel in it. And I have a cookie land by itself. Oh, um, but I, I really wanted this one and I was really excited about it. So there's that. I'm running out of space, sorry. <laughs> um, and then also during that one, I really wanted to try this because I had this from another vendor and it smelled amazing on cold, but I could not smell it at all on warm. And then I seen she had it offered and I was like, no way. <laughs> so I had to go for it. It was, it, it is Blackberry Boardwalk Mama Claus Bum Bum. Mm. So, so good. It's like a perfect mixture of all those things. And it gives me like a nostalgic smell for some reason. I don't know why. It's crumbly. I don't know why it's giving me that. But like, I love BMC and Boo Boo mixed together. But I think the added blackberry gives it just like a different little touch. And I don't know if it reminds me of like one of my friend's houses or like a camp or something we met on. Like it's giving me a reminiscent vibe and I don't know why, but I'm so excited. So I, like I said, I had that sample. This bag's not sealing very well. Um, I had that little sample cup from the other vendor and I just loved the way it smelled on cold and then warmed it no throw like not a single throw not a single scent in the air but I leaned up over it still smell great so I was just like what in the heck um I don't know okay and then one of the ones when I went back 
that I picked up was is Palo Santo Buttermint Adipose. And Adipose is like her marshmallow blend. Perfect for the bedroom, you guys. This is so good. This is so good. The mixture of the marshmallow, Palo Santo, and the buttermint. This is just such a good one. Like, I could sleep to this right now. It's so good, you guys. So I'm so excited about that. And I don't feel like that's an overly icy mint scent where it's making me feel like, oh, I need to wait till like winter time. Like, it's perfect. Like, I can melt it right now. Um, and then the last one I'm going to share, I think this might be my favorite that I picked up. <laughs> um, this is a strawberry pound cake, vanilla cookies, vanilla butter fudge, vanilla bean, Noel. Could this sound any more like me? Or the color pink? Hello? You guys already know. Last one though. This one's so good too. Usually the strawberry pound cake comes off more of like her fresh picked strawberries. It's not the strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works. It's definitely a house blend. Um, but the added all those vanilla blends, vanilla cookies, vanilla butter fudge, vanilla bean noel. It really sweetens it up to more of the like Bath and Body Works type. So, so good. So I literally, I've not been so happy to get an L3 haul. Like all of these, I'm like, I could chop them right now and put them in my warmer, <laughs> but I need to let them all cure. Um, but I'm so, so excited. But I don't feel, I mean, compared to some of the last ones I've gotten, I feel like I did okay. I'm gonna try really hard to sit out of her restock on the 28th, is that the day? Um, because I know she hinted at having an upcoming pre-order and I would feel way more comfortable purchasing in the pre-order than doing the whole, like I don't mind shopping her site on a restock because she has a ton of things. Like it's not that stressful for me. Uh, but a pre-order so relaxed and I can really really think about things and I don't feel the pressure to go like back on the site Like I just not that I'm saying I won't but I don't feel as like I need to go for so much because I might miss out. I can like leisurely decide things So long story short like I'm gonna try <laughs> to be good during that. So That's all I have let me know if you've tried any of these blends. Um, I know a ton of you guys love the Eight Crazy Nights, but I definitely think that needs to cure. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, I can't believe I'm coming here with another haul. But anyway, I have some more things shipping. So like more of my pre-orders and stuff. I'm pretty sure the Rouse Girls one's about to ship. So I'll be back with more. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.